Lesson 57 is on simple probability. Now probability, what that is, just think about the word probably. It kind of sounds like probability. When you use the word probably in a sentence, you're talking about something that may or may not happen. Like it probably is going to rain today or it probably won't rain today. You're making a statement about something in the future that you cannot know for sure. Probability is a numerical measure of a prediction of a future event, basically. Probabilities are numbers between 0 and 1. So they're fractions. They can also be percents as well. For example, look at this diagram here. A probability of 1 half, that's like right in the middle and then you can go to the right or to the left of that. The closer you get to one, the more certain it becomes that you can predict that future event correctly. The closer you get to zero, the more impossible or unlikely it becomes that you'll predict that future event correctly. Take a coin, for example, a coin that has a heads and a tail, like a quarter. If you flip that quarter, what is the probability of that landing on heads? Well, think about it. It could land on heads or tails. You want it to land on heads. That means the probability of it landing on heads is one half. The number of possible outcomes, heads or tails, that's the denominator of that fraction. The outcome that you would like to happen is the numerator. So the probability of flipping a coin and getting heads is one half. Now, what's the probability of flipping a coin and getting either heads or tails? Well, that's a probability of one. You can be for sure that if you flip that coin, it's going to land on heads or tails. Now, I guess it could land on its side, but that's such a small probability, we won't even consider that here. So we could say that what's the probability of flipping a coin and not getting heads or tails? We could say that's impossible. It's going to land on one or the other. So the probability of not getting a heads or a tails is zero. Now sometimes the word chance is used. Like maybe you watch the weather or read about the weather in the paper and they'll talk about the chance of rain. Chance is like probability, it's just discussed in terms of a percent. So like impossible would be a zero percent chance. And then right in the middle is a 50 percent chance. And then certain is a 100 percent chance. If there's a 100 percent chance of rain today, that means you can be certain if you go outside, it's either raining or it's going to rain. So probability is a way that scientists the weatherman or meteorologist, lots of people use probability to try to predict the outcome or the possibility or the likeliness of a future event happening. Since you're trying to predict something that's going to happen in the future, you have to be very careful about trusting probability. That's why it's called probability. It's not called definitely or certainty or for sureness or something like that. It's called probability because you can assume or it gives you an idea of what might happen in the future. Let's go ahead and do some practice problems now. Just pretend like that circle that I have drawn there is, is like a number spinner. Like you can spin that red arrow around and it'll spin around and then it'll stop and land on one of those numbers, one, two, three, four, or five. So just think about it. You have five possible outcomes here. I want you to figure out those different problems. What's the probability of landing on a two? What's the probability of landing on a number greater than two? And C, what's the probability of it landing on an odd number? And D, what's the probability of it landing on a six? If you want to pause the CD and see if you can figure those out, you can. Okay, so in A, the probability of landing on a two well, there's one desired outcome here, a 2, so that would be the numerator of my probability fraction. There's five possible numbers it could land on, so it's 1 over 5. That's the probability, 1 in 5, basically. 
So the probability is one-fifth, I could say one in five chance or 20% chance of landing on a two. Now the probability of spinning and landing on a number greater than two, that means landing on a three, a four, or a five. So there's three desired outcomes, still five possible outcomes though. So the probability is three-fifths or three in five or the chance is 60%. There's a 60% chance that I'll land on a number greater than two when I spin that red dial. C, the probability of landing on an odd number. Well, how many odd numbers do we have here? We have a one, a three, and a five. We have three of them. So again, just like in B, the probability is three-fifths or 60%. Now indeed, what's the probability of landing on a six? There is no six up there. So basically I have zero over five. That would be a probability of zero, a zero percent chance of landing on a six. Now just something to think about. Look at problem A, the probability of landing on a two. Does that mean that every five times I flick that spinner, I know that I'll land on two one of those five times? No, that's, that's not what probability is telling you. It gives you an idea of probably that's what would happen. At least every five times you flick that spinner, one of those times you'll land on the two. But it doesn't mean that that's definitely going to happen. Probability, all it does is just gives you an idea of what the outcome of a future event might be like. It's a way to quantify or put a number value on a prediction, basically. Okay, well that's all for lesson 57.